Hi guys, it's Matt here from Snaprovise to give you my five top tips to scoring a top grade in GCSE Physics. My first top tip is to find a way to check that you're not skimming. We learn things so much better when we properly engage with the material rather than just skimming through. But sometimes we don't know that we're skimming through or we find it easy to convince ourselves that we are taking information when we're not, especially when we feel like we need to get through material quickly. So find ways to make sure that you're taking in the information properly. When you read past a definition, stop. Did you take it in? Check. Turn away from the screen and say it out loud. My second top tip is to always be thinking about energy and forces. GCSE Physics gives you the gift of being able to think more clearly about everyday life. So don't let physics stop when you leave the desk. Whenever something is happening, see if you can describe it as a physics student you're on a bus and the bus is slowing down. What force is acting on the bus? The bus had kinetic energy before it stopped. Where did the energy go? You're at home and the lights are on. Someone tells you you shouldn't touch a light bulb because it might be hot. Where is all the thermal energy coming from? You have an ice cube in your glass and it melts into water. What's the difference between ice and liquid mortar? And why is it melting? As you go through your GCSE physics course, you'll be able to explain all of these things and more. On the flip side, thinking about how the world works with your physics knowledge will help you to remember, understand and appreciate the concepts that you learn in class. My third top tip is to try not to be put off by the thought of getting something wrong. GCSEs are hard and there will be some things that you struggle with, so here's what to do. Except that the point of what you're trying to do a lot of the time is not remind yourselves of the things that you already get point should be to try and eliminate all of the things that you don't understand. See that as a game, a challenge to be completed. Cementing that mindset could make your studying much more effective and rewarding. My fourth top tip is to make sure that you are comfortable with rearranging equations. You might be given the formulas or equations you need to complete a question, but you might not be given it in the right form. You might know the equation force equals mass times acceleration, but you might need to find the mass so make sure you can rearrange each equation. My fifth top tip is to understand your equations. Physics is all about looking at the world and finding out what the rules are for how the world works. The rules are written down as equations and the equations tell us powerful things like how the force is related to the acceleration and how the temperature change is related to the energy change. Remember this when you look at an equation. Sometimes it's easy to forget when the equations are written in symbols what it is that the symbols actually represent. So say it out loud or in your head. When you read F equals MA, think not F equals MA, but think force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. Then have a quick think about what the equation can tell you. For example, to achieve a bigger acceleration, to change speed more quickly, we need a bigger force. We need to push harder. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCSE Physics and Combined Science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snaprovise smiley face and together let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.